Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out the early stable release of our next version upgrade for Google Chrome, which will be version 143. And as always, like most, I wouldn't have received it. Google rolls the early stable out to a limited subset of users to basically test the browser before it rolls out to the general public a week later. And I've received the early stable just once since the inception of the early stable. So because Google rolled out early stable late yesterday in my region, I would suggest either next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, we will receive version 143 rolling out to the general public. Now, 143 is what I would consider to be a light release according to the Chrome platform status and what I've seen in preview versions. Most of the changes are going to be taking place under the hood, but just a quick video, just to give you a quick overview as more or less what to expect. Obviously, this is subject to change. Now, first of all, if we head into our privacy and security, security, and if you are using enhanced protection, which I always suggest you use when it comes to safe browsing in Google Chrome, Google says that enhanced protection has been improved against scams, which uses an on-device large language model, LLM. If you have enhanced protection and enhanced safe browsing enabled, which I think is a nice move. And there is a security come architecture improvement where Google is implementing origin keyed process isolation for a more granular and robust security boundary between websites. Now, if you don't know what origin keyed process is all about, just a quick overview. Basically, it's a browser feature that isolates web pages from different origins into separate agent clusters, typically by giving them dedicated resources like processes, which is primarily intended to improve performance by preventing resource intensive content from affecting other parts of the actual site. Just a brief overview in case you are unaware. And Google is also making improvements to the web GPU API, which will be a graphics improvement. And if you have an AI subscription, the integration of the Gemini AI features in Chrome is expanding with agentic capabilities being introduced for some users. So as mentioned, guys, quite a light release. I don't think we're going to see too much in regards to front-facing features. It seems that in recent updates to Google Chrome that not much has actually happened with the user interface. Maybe minor tweaks and adjustments, most taking place between version upgrades but nothing major in regards to front-facing features. Now, with all that said and done, there's still no mention of the new split tabs or split view as Google is calling it, which we currently still have in preview. I know I've said this from month to month, but still no mention in the Chrome platform status of the split view rolling out to the stable in this next release, although we might get a surprise. And I don't see why Google shouldn't roll it out. I think in preview, it's working absolutely fine. But nonetheless, it's going to be interesting to see if that makes its debut in version 143, although not mentioned on the Chrome platform status. And it's also going to be interesting to see if the workarounds to enable uBlock Origin will still be functional after the next version upgrade that has and is becoming quite challenging. But obviously, as soon as I get more info regarding that, I'll let you guys know. So guys, that's just a brief breakdown of what could be rolling out in our next version upgrade for Google Chrome version 143, which will be rolling out next week, as mentioned. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.